All right, let's see this grandfather's paradox. This, this, this is the most classic example. So that theory of if I kill my grandfather, the Y exists. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, I got what you're saying. As far yeah, as we know, theory. time only moves in one direction, this is actually forward. Cool video. But if you could loop back <laughs> cool. to visit the universe at an earlier point in time, a famous paradox arises. What if you killed Well, your... this is also kind of kind of not true. They say time only moves forward, but how come there's time zones and you're behind me? You know what I mean? Like, why are you behind in time right now than I am? That makes no sense. Grandfather when he was a child. Then your father or mother wouldn't have been born, so you wouldn't have been born, so you wouldn't have been able to go back in time to kill your grandfather in the first place. Kill him. Paradox. Kill him. The simplest resolution to the grandfather paradox is that when you go paradox. back in time, you're actually not going back into your own history, but see to again. a copy, you and everything you do there influences the, oh, the copy. future of okay. that yeah. universe, not your own past. But that's boring because it just avoids the paradox. That's if boring. What you do when you go back in time <laughs> actually make influences thing. There you go. your own past. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's too boring. We got to make it more complicated. So your time spice travel do loop back, back to the bit. present, <laughs> future, past? No problem. Let's just follow the paradoxical timeline through beyond its paradoxical conclusion. You go back in time, kill your grandfather, thus you aren't born, so you can't go back in time, thus your grandfather isn't killed, thus you are born, so you go back in time and kill your grandfather, and so on. I'm showing this as a what? looping linear series of events, yourself, but really it's two entangled histories <laughs> happening in parallel. Is that even possible? Well, I don't know about the time travel part, but subatomic particles regularly do multiple different things in parallel. It's called quantum Shout superposition. And, and here we go. This is the best. This is the best shit. They, for, they, this is why they think time travel is possible and everything is possible is because they break it down to the so-called anatomical particles. You know what I mean? Mm, break yeah. it down to electron, neutron. None of that shit exists. No one can even see that. And then they say, yeah, if these, you know, little electrons can do this, appear here and appear over there, you know what I mean? Go over here then human beings can do the same thing because we're made up of those things, right? That's what yeah. they say. But position I mean, I don't know if you ever visited, uh, what's it called? Um, um, what's it called? I, I went to one of those things when I was in high school, like a, like not a planetarium, but it's like a like a government, like, what's it called? Man? There you Hold go, on, government. Gotta, yeah. <laughs> out of, it's like... Um, it's like a like, place where they have like science experiments. Right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. where they study like atoms and electrons, all that stuff. Hydron like big, collider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I got a chance to be one of those, like, see, like, see one of the combustors, whatever, how they do electrons, all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Like, they have a bunch of stuff there, but that's all, like, government. You Did know, you see public. electrons? They're showing us, like, a machine. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, yeah. The machine. Yeah. I think the stuff that I was seeing was electrons. Some, some kind of particles were in there, but I don't know. Yeah. For the weirdness of the double slit experiment, many properties of atoms and molecules, fusion it's in the hopes. sun's core, and so on. So if the universe were to exist in a superposition of two states, your grandfather is alive and your grandfather is dead, Solution then the natural freedom. result is a superposition of two states. You're born and able to go back in time to kill your grandfather, and you're not born. And the natural result of these is a superposition of two states. Your grandfather is dead and your grandfather is alive. And so, at least from a logical perspective, this looping timeline is entirely consistent and there's logical. no paradox. And a similar paradox-free solution can be obtained by viewing the problem as a oh steady Oh my god, solution. what is all this? What is all Markov this? Chain. Even so, I'm not going to go into this. I'm not going to go into that. Of course <laughs> he's not going to go into that. What is all this? 001100, what the hell is this? To a Markov all binary chain. codes. I won't bro. go into that here. Now, Matrix. of course, nothing about these solutions to the grandfather paradox suggests that closed time wow, loops are that's actually like possible. In fact, some of the implications of this kind of time loop have in the study of complexity <laughs> look at theory this, seem look to at suggest these papers, that time loops bro. and thus time travel into the past must be impossible. Yeah, but and, the main and point now is sometimes more we more think a... to, to talk about this time travel. Wow. Let's go to NASA. They didn't care about that, you know? Sorry, what did you say? They didn't care about it. Before physicists, they didn't take it as seriously as they, as they do now. You know, now it's becoming more like okay to talk about time travel. Yeah, hell yeah. And, and you're gonna see one of the professors here t talks about this. How he's like he legit couldn't talk about it for years until like he got more whatever in, uh, established whatever you know credibility. More government talk about time funding. Travel. You're watching. Easy and Ibra TV.